So today I'm going to show you how to log in to Turnitin.com. Turnitin.com is the website that we are going to use to submit all of our papers for this class. This website is very useful and when we're in class together I will show you all the neat little things that it can do for you. But for now, I just want to show you how to log into the program. This is where we're going to submit all of our papers and it's going to do all sorts of things like check your plagiarism and all sorts of stuff. So the first thing you need to do is set up, set up an account. To do that, you need to open up your browser. I'm using Chrome, but you can use whatever makes you happy. And you're going to want to go up to the bar up here, the URL, and you're going to want to type in www.turnitin.com. Depending on your internet speed, this may take a minute or two. And if you've already created an account in the past with another teacher, you want to go over here to log in. I'm showing you how to create an account for the first time. So to do that, you want to type or you want to click where it says create account. Now I already have an account created and I've asked it to save my information, but you your screen will be blank right here and here. So you're going to want to scroll down and you're going to want to click on create a new account student right here. Once you do that, you will it will ask you for the class ID and the class enrollment key. The class ID is the eight or nine digit number that I gave you in class. And the class enrollment key is the password that I gave you in class. That's where you're going to enter those two things in. The rest of this will be up to you to fill out. You're going to give me your first name and your last name. This is not the place for nicknames or things like that. Give me your first name and your last name. You're then going to want to put in an email address. You want to select an email address that you actually check. Don't give a junk email address that you never check. Use one that you actually go to regularly. And the reason for that is because when you submit things to me, it's going to send you confirmation emails, you know, kind of like a receipt when you order something online. This is your proof that you've actually submitted it. Invariably, there will always be some sort of technological glitch or something that will um, make it seem like your paper wasn't submitted or whatever. This is going to be your proof that you actually did the assignment and did it on time. So use an email address that you actually check. I recommend your school email address, but if you don't actually check that, then just use a personal email address. It really doesn't matter. So you're going to enter in the email address right here, then you're going to enter it again right here. You are then going to enter a password of your choosing. Don't use the password I gave you in class. This is where you create your own password. So create your own password and then confirm it. Make sure this is a password that you're actually going to remember and not one you just made up on the fly. Then it's going to ask you for a security question. In case you forget your password, this is the question that they're going to ask you to confirm that you are who you say you are when you ask for your password again. So click on this drop down box, choose the question that you think you can best answer, give it an answer, scroll down some more. You want to read the user agreement that's up to you and then select I am not a robot and then click on I agree. If you've done it correctly, then it should take you to a page that will have my name, the class name, and both of those will be highlighted in blue so that you can click on them. If you've done it correctly, that's what you should see, and you should be all set to go.